hi guys welcome back to my channel so tonight i am going out with my very best friends and we are going out for halloween it's not actually halloween tonight but we're celebrating that tonight together um and we are going as the like kind of masquerade theme we were going to go as angels but do you think we could find angel wings anyway no and also amazon tried to charge me 20 pound for delivery sorry no way so yeah we couldn't really find wings anyway so we thought the masquerade theme was so much nicer so that's what we're doing i'm wearing pink and when i say pink i mean it is hot pink it's from with Polly. I'll show you guys later. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do my makeup for you guys on camera. The makeup look I'm doing, I have never done before. So pray that it goes fine and you don't see me crying on this camera. So if I have time as well, I will show you guys that my hair, my outfit and everything um, on camera. But if you guys don't see that, that's because I was in a major rush and I didn't have time. <laughs> but anyway, I thought should I do my hair for this video so I look like actually presentable. Presentable? Yeah, that's weird. But I was just like, you know what? If I was to sit down and my, do my makeup, would I do my hair? No. So I'm just gonna be real with you guys. This is what I look like when I get ready. My hair, I washed it this morning, but it doesn't look like it. Anyway, let's get started. The look that I'm doing is, we're going black eyeshadow, and then kind of like, so it's not black and then faded. It's like black going into a bit of brown. And then I'm gonna put this pink, pigment is that what you call it pink pigment on like the spot like kind of area of my eye um and then very bronzed um kind of skin i've had a tan so i've got the molly may filter extra dark tan on i love this tan it looks really nice as well the perfect shade for me um and then my nails are done by unique nails once again and i had these done i want to say on the 4th or 5th of october and here we are the 30th of october not one nail has come off haven't budged best nail tech in the world sorry i go soft track but anyway let's get started so if you guys want to see my halloween makeup look keep watching so the first thing i'm going to start off by doing i normally put kylie skin lip oil on my lips before i do my makeup but do you think i can find it no so i have to find that wherever that has gone but i'm going to prep my skin with the walida skin food if you don't have this i one million percent recommend this it's honestly amazing um it's perfect for my skin type as well like my skin isn't oily in the slightest especially with a tan my skin is very dry um but honest to god it's just so perfect with foundation um but if you have oily skin i don't know if i would recommend this but if you have like dry kind of like mine's not oily but it's not dry so if you kind of have like in the middle um between that then this is definitely a good product to use so i am just gonna put this all over my face um however i am gonna when i do my forehead i'm not gonna go over my brows i'm just gonna miss them because when you go to put your brow product on it doesn't really go on properly it kind of slides off because this is quite tacky so yeah the product won't stick once that is all set into your skin i would just like to say before i start my makeup i do my makeup in such a weird way like i don't think i know anybody who do who does their makeup this way so i start by putting foundation on my forehead first i don't know why i just find it easier to do my forehead brows and like i kind of move down my face um but obviously if you guys have your own way of doing this then miss out this bit but yeah so i am just gonna mix the nars Aruba foundation and the Too Faced Born This Way vanilla shade. I'm gonna mix these together. Um, only a small amount because this bit's only going on my forehead. So I have a Peaches and Cream PC01 brush. Put the same amount of both on there. And now I am just gonna put this on my forehead. I know I, this is like a really weird way of doing it, I know, but I don't know why I do it. But I just find it easier to do it first and then my brows rather than doing my brows and then like kind of avoiding that area. I don't know, I'm weird. I'm just so I'd let you know, I'm looking by here because I've got a mirror by there. So I'm not going crazy. So I've applied the foundation to my forehead. Now I am just gonna get any like normal beauty blender and I'm just gonna press that in. Now it is time to do the brows. For my brows, I use the Anastasia Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown and I use 
the Anastasia brow brush. So I start off by brushing up my brows. And I feel like everybody has their own technique to doing their brows. So I'm edging my brows off camera and I will see you guys in a second. I'm back. Um, I've also carved out my brows and I used the Charlotte Tilbury Liquid Concealer to carve my brows. And I also used the Peaches and Cream PC12 brush as well. So yeah, my brows are all done and carved out. Um, yeah, I thought I wouldn't do my brows on camera because I feel like everybody does their brows different. But if you guys did want to know my technique, I'd say, to brows, um, I just use the obviously the Anastasia pomade and then I line out the bottom of my brow and then I slowly fill up. However, I leave the front section and then when I get to the front section, I do kind of like fake hair like brushes if you know what I mean like I brush up like to do like a fake actual hairline um so yeah that's my kind of routine to doing brows but I just thought everybody does, does them different you either have soap brows like with the obviously you use the the soapy stuff or you draw them or use a pencil so I thought better just leave it anyway yes yeah, so if you're at this stage now you've carved out your brows as well um I'm just gonna get the beauty blender and just buff out this concealer so there's no harsh lines um, and then we are ready to do the scary eyeshadow because the eyeshadow is black so I'm kind of petrified if this fails on camera because that will be embarrassing this is the first time I've used the Charlotte Tilbury concealer on my eyes I think it's the first but it's flawless in all honesty I'm really happy with like how that has come out I usually use the Barry M all night long concealer but I run out of that Guys, this is a scary bit, I'm petrified, not gonna lie. But yes, the palette I have is the Doll Sweet Treats, but if you guys have any black eyeshadow, that will do. So this is the color I'm gonna be diving into. I am slightly petrified. When I say slightly, I mean very petrified. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the black all over this part of my lid, no higher up. Otherwise, things could go wrong. I am gonna use a Spectrum B06 brush. I'm gonna do a light kind of like swirl into the the black eyeshadow and I'm not gonna tap any off I don't think. And now into my socket I'm just gonna like kind of press and wiggle the brush around. Oh guys I'm scared. Oh I'm scared if you guys understand what I mean. So I'm kind of doing this motion. Hopefully this goes well, I really wanted to. By the way, I've done like a makeup video probably four times before this, but each one I've deleted because you can't see me doing makeup or I'm describing it horribly. Like I just, I, I don't know, I'm no makeup artist, so I don't know how to explain it. Now I'm gonna get into that corner. I'm just gonna darken it um, a bit more and then I'll see you guys in the next step. But I have now got the shade I want and basically the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab another brush a bit of a fluffier one i think i think that one's got glue on it um so i've got the these are the morphe by ariel brushes and this is the really like kind of the fluffiest brush i'd say i have got glue on there mind that um but now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get like a lighter shade of brown to like what's the word soften up um so i don't want because when like you start blending out the black i don't want it to go gray so i'm going to blend it in with the brown so i'm still using the same palette and um, this is by the way the doll sweet treats mud pie and mochaccino is that how you say it? mochaccinos palette anyway um i think i'm gonna use the shade mud pie it's kind of like a darky almost like an orangey toned brown if i can explain that right i'm going to use this so i'm going to do the same um method as last time so very light swirls now i'm going to put the brush half on my eyeshadow and half off and attempt to blend this in i really hope it works i'm going to do half on and half off oh that's a bit too dark it's too dark a different brush i'm using the spectrum b09 brush and I'm gonna use instead toffee sponge. Let me see if that's better. Because that is gonna go darker and then like it's just gonna be a bit of a mess. So I am now trying the same method. Please work. 
but you don't want to go too high otherwise it's just going to be so dark so i'm trying to keep it as low as i possibly can otherwise this is going to be a major mess it's looking like a failure so far but i'm gonna keep positive keep positive oh my gosh that was the most difficult thing of my life so i just basically um i've done both eyes now but what i did was i did exactly what i told you guys but i just blend and blend and blend and blend and we've ended up with this it's no way near perfect or what i envisioned it being but it's somewhere close i look crazy right now because it's under my eyes but um yeah so this is kind of what you want i got like the black on my eye and then it's kind of like brown smoke kind of like is not what I envision, but it'll do for now. It'll, you know, it'll do. My my makeup skills aren't gonna improve overnight. So, yeah, if you guys are at this stage, um, you're doing well. You probably done better than me to be honest, because I find it so scary using black eyeshadow. I don't know what it is about it. Petrifies me because I feel like you make one mistake and that is it. Guys, the next bit that I am gonna be doing is adding the pigment to my eye. To hold down the pigment, I am putting on the P. Louise um, base, and this is in the shade, oh no, it's Rumour 2, so number 2, um, and I'm going to put a bit of this on my hand. I need to get one of those palettes so you can put all like the foundation and stuff, which you'd normally put on your hand, on the palette, because like, look at the state of my hand, it's crazy. I have my Peaches and Cream PC52 brush, I'm not going to put a crazy amount of um, the P. Louise on the brush so I'm gonna get some on there and then dab it off a bit but there you can put this as a cut crease you can do whatever I'm just gonna put this on like the spotlight area and that just basically oh hello that just basically means um on the middle um of my eyelid basically but I'm gonna start off maybe I should do this eye so you guys can see yeah so I'm gonna start off by placing it there oh this is scary so there I grab some more Make sure when you're doing this you open your eye because obviously you need to see if you can see the uh, pigment when you're opening your eye because otherwise there'd be absolutely no point in doing this. Now I'm going to quickly grab the pigment and I'm going to put the pigment on with my hands I think. Where's the pigment? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh I got it. It's right in front of me. I've got the Peaches and Cream at Mad Moselle pigment. I'm going to get some on my finger and place it on the area. that oh my gosh guys i love it that is stunning i super cute i love that that is really really nice obviously if you guys are doing this same look but you have a blue dress do whatever color, pig color pigment silver blue whatever it doesn't have to be pink i'm really happy with how it's going i thought like i was gonna cry at the black eyeshadow but it's going really well and now it's time for lashes so i'm using the prima lash in the style dainty so first i'm gonna measure up the eyelash with my eye just to make sure it's not too big i'm gonna cut off like the ends of the ends which like have no lashes on them i'm gonna cut off that bit and then work out where i need to go from here i think i'm gonna have to cut off like two sections maybe i always curve them as well like this i put the glue on and i am gonna let this go tacky so I've just put some mascara on. I've just got the Spectrum mascara, but obviously use whatever mascara. And now it is time to stick down the lashes so they're tacky enough. So I'm gonna need to like go down to this bit, uh, to the mirror for this, cause I'm rubbish at lashes. So what I do is I stick the inner corner down first and then I kind of follow on with the rest. So I wasn't a lover of that mascara, mascara of that um, eyelash glue. So I've gone to the Ardell Lash Grip um, eyelash glue instead so the lashes are getting tacky right now so while they're getting tacky I thought I could do the rest of my foundation so I'm getting the same foundations as I did to do my forehead and the same brushes and I'm just gonna start doing my skin so paint it on my cheeks first so now my foundation is on and I'm gonna go the beauty blender and just start kind of like pressing it into my face yeah, I love it when we put like the bronzer and everything on because I just think it just makes the look because right now 
it is not the best, let's be honest. I can't wait to do the concealer and the cream bronzer. I am also gonna put powder one on top of it as well. Now for concealer, I'm using the con same concealer that I use for um, to carve my brows out. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. And I'm gonna put that under my eyes. I'm also gonna put it on my forehead as well, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And then once again with the beauty blender, just buff it all out so there's no harsh lines anyway. I'm loving that so far and I think my lashes are ready um, to be stuck on. So hopefully these lashes look nice with this look. Oh, they are stunning. Like just look at the difference, you know what I mean? Beautiful. Guys, I am in love with these lashes. They look so different on camera than they do in real life, but honest to God, honest to gosh, honest to God, they look stunning. Now it is time to move on to cream bronzer. So I have the KKW stick and I've literally run out of it all. So I'm gonna have to get it out with a brush. Oh my gosh, I think I've run out, like run out, run out this time. Like it's completely gone. I'm gonna put this cream bronzer here. And then like around my forehead and then for my jawline like in the three shape that Kim does normally do it and then I am going to put it on my nose too so so there you go you have my cream bronzer and now I am just gonna rub that in with the KKW um, stick I'm gonna use it the brush section now it is time to do all like, the powder on my face and this is definitely my favourite part. So I'm gonna get the RCMA, the original no colour powder. I do wanna try something different because when I have a tan, this is not like the right thing to use, but it'll be fine for now. For the boot blender, I'm just gonna uh, pull out the creases under my eyes because where I've been looking down and I've still got the wet concealer, it'll still be there. Then I'm gonna get a new beauty blender and then just dip it into the powder and then put that straight under my eye. And it's important to know that once you've done this, you must always brush away um, the kind of like, see that, like it's like a line there. Always just buff away the edges because when you come to do things like bronzer or blusher, it will tend to stick to that bit um, because I guess the powder is like so concentrated. I'm gonna put powder on my forehead because my forehead does tend to get a tiny bit shiny. Then down the middle of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. I'm gonna let this bake for five minutes and I will see you guys in the next step. I don't know why, my face looks so pale in this lighting. Like my bronzer looks crazy and my, my foundation looks so white. But honestly, in real life it's really not. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I look crazy right now. You're like, why am I following this girl's makeup tutorial? I promise you, it looks nothing like this. As you can see, I've started bronzing my face and I've used the MAC Dark Deep um, Mineralized Skin Finish. So I've used this, it's like that kind of shade. Um, and that's perfect with my tan. It looks not perfect with my tan right now, but it is, it's obviously just the lighting. I'm putting some blusher on now. This is the MAC Cheeky Bits Blush. Um, and I'm just putting it in this area. Once I put some on the apple of my cheeks, I'm also gonna just dust it with my nose as well. Now I'm gonna put on some highlighter and I got the Doll Light um, Shine Bright Highlighter. And I have a Peaches and Cream PC17 brush. I'm just gonna lightly dust it over the highlighter. I'm going to get some finishing spray. This is a little hack if anyone wants to know. And put it over the, the brush. And then watch this, people. Doesn't that look stunning? I love revealing it, ready? Oh my gosh, Hat, like that looks stunning. I love the doll products. I am also gonna put a highlighter um, on my nose and in the corner of my eye. I'm not gonna spray the brush on my nose. I don't want it to be like crazily on my cupid's bow as well and just dust it over my chin but i am going to put the highlighter in the corner of my eye as well just to kind of brighten up the eyes so it isn't so you know dark and i haven't done this in ages but i am going to put some under my brow 
Next, I'm gonna grab the same brush that I just used for that little highlighter in the middle, in the, sorry, in the bit of my eye. And I'm gonna dip back into the black color. And I'm just gonna dust this under the outer edge of my eye ever so slightly. So just so it looks like that. So as you can see, I just got on the outer into the middle and I just dragged it ever so slightly um, towards the inner corner of my eye. But I literally, from there onwards, there's no product there. Now I'm gonna grab any kind of like black um, eyeliner pencil or waterline product and I'm just gonna put this in the wa in my waterline, sorry. So I'm gonna put, pull my eye down slightly and just draw the black into my waterline. So off camera, I just put some mascara on my fake lashes and my bottom lashes. And also I did put the, where is it? The Benefit 24 hour brow setter through my brows. It just makes them not look so flat, um, but I love that product. And now it's time for the final touch of this look. And that is the lips. I'm doing a bit of an experiment with the lips. So I'm putting on, where is it? Here we go. This MAC lipstick and it's called Pink Pinjun. Pink Pinjun, I think. But anyway, it's this proper bright pink color and it matches my dress perfectly. But I was like, hang on, I don't have any lip liner for this. Well, did I know? I have this Aujois, I think, Paris. And then it is basically something for your waterline, I think. Or is it a pencil? I don't know, but it's something to do with your eyes. Anyway, I'm gonna use this on my lips because I thought that was a perfect kind of lip liner. Oh, I always tend to overdraw my lips. Um, I just prefer it. I don't like it when it's like to the exact line of my lips. But um, as you can see, I've started at the bottom and honestly, it's the perfect color. So I can't wait for you guys to see this. Guys, this is the finished look. Honestly, I'm in love with it. I'm really, really proud of how I did, considering I haven't done makeup like this in ages. So I did use the products that I used on my lips. Obviously the ones that I showed you. However, I added the Jeffree Star Dewy Collab um, lip gloss. Like, it's super, super pink and shiny. So I did put that over my lips. And honestly, I'm in love with this look. Once I am fully dressed, my hair is done, um, I will show you guys the final, final, final look so here is the finished look guys I am so happy with it so I have just styled my hair with the Beauty Works curlers and I have put a load of hairspray in here so I can get like that quick kind of look and I've put some hairspray by here as well to um, sleek my hair behind my ear so that is my hair and then my dress I can't really show you very much but it's um well, that's my bed by the way <laughs> I'm all done and I can't wait for a good night with my friends thank you guys so much for watching my video as always honestly your support I can't even tell you guys how much it means to me so if you could please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys on Wednesday